What's up guys, it's Chad here with Juvie's Company from my campground today. We are at the KOA in Hatteras, North Carolina. And as you can see behind me, the wind is kicking. I know you can't really hear it necessarily, but I will show you here. We've been getting, we've been getting 20 to 30 mile per hour winds all day. And we got some heavy cloud cover. It has been on and off raining. And I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about Starlink and how it does in bad inclement weather. So let's see what we got. All right, this is the, we'll say the driver's side of my camper. This is where my slide out is. The actual winds is hitting us from this direction here. So this is gonna be the not windy side of the camper where all of my hookups are. So I literally just have my Starlink sitting on a five gallon bucket, no special mount or anything, and I have it plugged right in here to the uh, household socket. All right, we're gonna go inside, and I'm gonna show you how fast the internet actually is. Now, the, the campground has its own Wi-Fi, but it is so slow, it won't even give me one megabit a second. And as you can see, there is the tower of that right there. The Wi-Fi to the campground has its own. See that thing right there, that pole? It's literally leaning and it's flapping in the wind and it's giving no signal. Uh, so, can't do anything inside that requires the internet. So, let's go inside and do a speed test. Not like midday right now. I have one or two children in the back over here taking a nap, I think one or two maybe you're on Roblox using a bunch of internet. But again, so the there's the antenna that I showed you right out there. So I'm going to get out my phone and do a quick speed test and show you how fast the I am um, Starlink Roam, and that is the Starlink Mini. So we're gonna get this speed test going. All right, here we go. Again, I am connected to Starlink. All right, result of the first one is 210 download, 14.3 upload. I'm gonna run the test back to back. Sometimes I get different results, even doing the test, you know, 30 seconds apart. So let's see what we got. Eh, about the same. Yeah, about the same. This one's a little bit better, it looks like. There we go, 234 and 23.6. That just goes to show that how strong the signal is Starlink can get. Again, we've had cloud cover, it's been raining on and off all day here at the beach. Our normal cell signal is not the best. We're out here uh, in Hatteras, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, we have Verizon normally, but with the Starlink, I'm getting, I got up to like 325 at one point today. But obviously my two tests were showing 200 to 230 download, which is more than enough for anybody. Like I said again, in this camper we have a TV, a smart TV. We have my kids each have a tablet. Me and my wife have a cell phone. Um, so it runs all that, no problem on full tilt. And again, they're back there playing Roblox right now. So that might have something to do with why it's not showing the 300 I got earlier. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them down in the description below. Um, again, I some people swear they put the star links up on a 20-foot pole to get better signal. I literally have mine on the ground on a five-gallon bucket, and I'm still getting amazing results. So, here we go.